everyone, Marion Emerson here. I get asked quite a lot um, from people on the comments, etc. How can they start out in card making but not spend a fortune? Well, my simple answer is what I'm going to show you in this video. Um, you don't have to spend a fortune. Some of the things I'm using, you don't even need those. You don't need posh barely arts glue i say posh because i feel that it is you can use pretty much any paper adhesive that you can find in the pound store dollar store etc you do not need one of these fancy brush holder thingamy bobbies um and you can just buy like cheap makeup brushes you don't need you know anything fancy fancy what i would suggest is you do do invest in some decent cardstock. That's a definite, I feel. Um, but if you're just practicing, just buy some cheap stuff from pound shop, dollar store, um, and do your practicing on that. And if it don't come out, you haven't wasted a lot. I always use Wow Superior Smooth White Cardstock. I love how white it is. It comes in A4 sheets or A5. Um, and then I just cut it in half lengthways and then I've got my tenth fold card. It's sturdy enough to make a card from. It's a 250 GSM. And then I also cut my panels out from it. So my panel will just be slightly smaller than the um, card base itself. So let me just move them out of the way. Now, as for cutting out, it's... You know, you you can just you can buy really cheap little guillotines, paper cutters, etc. And I don't get, mean to keep saying cheap, 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 um, but this is for people that they think they want to get into card making. They're really not sure if they're going to like it, so you don't want to spend a fortune. I get that. Um, the other thing I would suggest is a stamp. It doesn't have to be a set like this. It could just be the one stamp. Again, you can get those really inexpensively. Um, and I would suggest a stencil. Now, I don't think I've used this stencil, this Dance and Smoke one. Um, this is from Well. It was designed by Kate Dachowska. I think I've pronounced that right. Sorry, Kate, if I haven't. Um, and I just thought this would be interesting for masculine cards as well. So I'm just going to show you a couple of things that we can do. Oh, and, and inks. Obviously, you need inks. <laughs> so, so I would say, I mean, I've got, I've picked out three, three of my favourite colours, um, or some of my favourite colours. They're all my favourites. Um, I've gone for Seafoam, Bay Breeze and Skylark because I think these work for masculine cards as well. You could also use something like, limoncello flame and rouge they work all nicely together when we're doing blending and things like that so again it doesn't have to be these type of inks you can once you know that you're enjoying this hobby then treat yourself yeah um you need a block it doesn't have to be an acrylic block it could be this bit you could stick it on there and just line it up you can't see it admittedly you could use um a cd case just so empty your cd case put it on there stamp it down there's so many little hacks and ways that you can do things right so first of all let's just go in mm, what shall i do what shall i do what shall i do let me right i am gonna i'm gonna mask off an area so look see and use all your old paper as well <laughs> I don't really throw that away. So if I just pull that. Oh, that's given me an idea. Right. Leave that there. Um, so I am going to just go in and just roughly. I'm not too bothered if it ain't perfect. And and don't you be. Yeah, don't don't beat yourself up on things. So I'm just going to go in with some sea foam. These brushes can be washed again and again. I'm maybe naughty, I don't know. I put them in a little undies bag in the washing machine and I have had people say, you really mustn't do that. But so far, so good. They're, they're okay. You know, they, they work still. Right, if you had a bit of tape, you could hold this down with a bit of tape. Um, but I'm trying to do it as if I haven't got any other products in front of me, if that makes sense. So let's go, let's have a bit of, whoops, 
do skylights. All I'm doing is tapping into the ink. You can use oxides, you can use any inks, but you want nice juicy inks. And then I go off the paper as well and then come into the card. And then I'm just, I hope my hand's not in the way. And then I just sort of rub gently, going over those other inks so it blends into it. With Catherine Pauler's inks, you'll find you'll put it on and then after a little while, it sort of soaks, like absorbs into the card and then it really softens. It's lovely. So let me just go in like that. And then let's go for a bit of Bay Breeze. Oh, I love this one. But you've got to be careful because it is quite... See, look how... Uh, um, strong that colour is. So I'm just tapping bits off. So I just go in there. If you think, right, I want it a little bit deeper. And also with the pressure, don't put too much pressure on and then you can build your pressure up. So which then makes me think of something else. If you're new to my channel, <laughs> this is what I do. I just, I go off on tangents. I start off with an idea and then I'm like, do you know what? I'm just going to decide to do something else now. <laughs> so, But if you do like what you see, I would love it if you subscribed. I really would. Um, yeah, just press that little subscribe button. I am, I keep saying it, I might have done one by now, I don't know. I am going to do lives. Um, but we had a, a party here the other day and I got my big light out in the garden um just to give us some extra light and knocked it over and I smashed my bulb and they're just mega mega expensive bulbs so and I need that to do my lives at night so anyway right so let's just have a little look see look at that so we've just masked off that area we can just quite simply take a stamp so if I go, let's just go simple. So this is the Altenew birthday greetings. I will put links in the video description. So where you see where it says more, the word more, just click that and then it will show you. And you don't have to buy from there, but if you want to just go and have a look, you'll see pictures. You can have a proper look at them and see how much they are and things like that because you can also find them in different places and they might be cheaper, they might be dearer. So if I done, happy birthday to you. Right, I am gonna go, happy birthday to you. This is quite an old set, so I will look to see if it's still available. I think it is. I mean, I like these blocks because they've got grid lines on them. So it helps you line your stamp up. But if you haven't got ones like that, you can actually draw your own grid lines on with a ruler and a Sharpie pen. So knock yourselves out on that. It's just about having some fun. And again, seeing if you like it. I've bought stuff in the past that I think, oh yeah, I'll have a go at that. And then I think, oh no, I don't like that. I always stamp off as well, just to make sure that there's nothing wrong with the stamp. I haven't got any sort of like little hairs lurking on there or whatever. And I think I'll just come straight in the center there. And then just, happy birthday to you. And then that now is ready, she says, looking, I don't know what I've done with my cards. There's my cards. Oop. That can be mounted onto my card. And it's quite, quite plain, quite simple. But if we want to step that up a bit, I'm going to take another panel. I'm going to do the same. Or shall I? No, I'll stick to, I was going to do it in these colours. Just to, no, I will do it in these colours. So I'm still saying just get two or three inks. Oh, that's what I wanted to try. Sorry. Um, <laughs> sorry, see, I told you. Um, right. Seafoam. Where was I? That one, wasn't it? I'm just going to try this on my scrap paper. So I was just thinking, say I'm blending this and this. Yeah, so this is sea foam going on there. And then I'm going to bring in do, 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 me Bay Breeze. 
So Bay Breeze is going to go over here. But yes, so look, if I then bring my Bay Breeze in, but then go over the sea foam out of two cut. I don't know if you can see it properly on there. Oh, I just clashed my teeth. Sorry. <laughs> um, I don't know if you can see it properly on here, but I've actually got three colours now. So I've got my sea foam, I've got my Bay Breeze, and then I've got a created colour from the two where they've blended in together. So if you only want to buy two ink pads, just do that. So just, just little hacks for you. Right, what did I say I was going to do? Oh, I've lost my bit of paper now. Was that my bit of paper? No. Yeah, oh, oh, maybe it was. Oh, I don't know. Um, right, so let's just do that again. All right, so I'm going to go in. Same again. Let's just, I'll probably use that side because that's a bit straighter now. So I'm going to go in. I'm going to use sea foam, and I'm going to pretty much go all over with sea foam, lighter and darker, so heavier and lighter with your pressure will give you different colour effects as well. And then let's have a bit of skylight on there. So just push in. And then also ask me questions. Press the comment button and ask me questions. I love answering all your comments. You're all so lovely that you do give me comments and likes. And I really, really appreciate that. Okay, so I'm just going to go in and blend this out a little bit. And I'm keeping this paper where it was. Let's just move all this out of the way. Get me Bay Breeze ready. And then, what's up with my stencil now? <laughs> oh my goodness. What am I like? Stencil. Where are you? All well done with it. Right, I might have to um, just cut off for a minute and go look for it. I don't know what I've done with it. I found it. It was under all my bits, obviously. Right, so I am now, so I could go, I might go straight with that. So just line that up, give or take. You can tell by these bits. And then I'm gonna come in with my Bay Breeze. So this is my darker color. Again, if you only had two, you could go really heavy on your darker one out of the two. Now try not to move your stencil. You really don't want to move it if you can help it. If not, just make it part of the design. Make it look like you've bumped it. This, this stencil is fabulous for boys or even blokes who love motorbikes and fire and, you know, the sort of things boys like. I probably shouldn't put people in a nutshell there. I'll get told off for that. Hey-ho, I'm old. Right. Look at that. Ta-da. See, it just looks great, doesn't it? And we just we just use it. I'm going to use that same um, stamp because it's only fair, isn't it? So, again, I'm going to go in. Oh, or actually, let's just let's take that off a minute. Let me do, oh, I've, I've just moved it. I'm going to do little bits of that in the Bay Breeze. And then I'm going to do, I don't know whether it's going to show up much. And then I'm going to try and go in. I need to be able to see what I've done, actually. <laughs> Otherwise, I've got to try and line it back up again. This might have been silly. Right, okay, I know what I'll do. I'll ink all over. Ink the whole thing all over in the skylight, which I should have thought of, and then just go in and touch up with a bit of Bay Breeze. Let's see what that's gonna come out like. So, happy birthday to you. You could do it down here and then put some little sequins or things like that on there, little dots. I'm just gonna... Ch -ch -ch. 
yeah so it looks it looks faded let me show you i'll probably put too much of the um bay breeze on it probably looks like i haven't stamped it properly but you can see that it's faded off down there as well but that you know that just looks great in my eyes um one thing you will need let me just get them out a baby wipe just clean off your stencil as long as you look after everything it will last you a long long time okay so we have got two now haven't we which we've gone from plain to that one with the pattern and then when i ripped that paper it just made me think of something i've done years ago where make sure this is dry as well and i'm gonna flip this over just so i've got something clean to work on and i have got that ripped paper yeah so i'm still i'm working on a bit of a an angle i'm quite liking the old angle look right so i've ripped that bit as well but i'm gonna flip it over so i've got well they're both fluffy sides really but i'm gonna put that about there and that one shall i go about there if i go about there and there like that i could just do the stencil i could do the color underneath let's just do the stencil make it easy always make it easy for yourself don't try and overthink things so we'll do the stencil but we'll do this in multicolors. so we just get a little bit there there i usually do things in freeze i'll sort of go do 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 then we'll have a bit of skylight there and then there and then let's finish with our bay breeze we're just gonna go in where i feel like i can still see bits of the white card and if you can't it doesn't matter you can just go over bits you can also lift it like that look at that look at that oh do you know what you could do it like an animal print oh obviously not these colors but just really really simple you can create patterns all the time so again i would probably well let me just i could Actually, let's see if that shows up. I don't know if that's going to be too dark. If I mess it up, my biggest piece of advice to you is don't worry. Just flip the whole thing over. It's a panel, so it's going to be hidden and do it again. Black would probably work better for this. But let's see. It might be too dark underneath. We'll see. It works. It works. So again, look at that. It's just, just really, really simple. Yeah. And then there's one more. And I don't know if I've got any more card blanks. Let me just clean this. Let me just grab another card blank. Hang on a minute. I got one. Okay, so the one more is... I need some scissors for this. I need to cut a nice straight line. And I've left my big scissors, so don't laugh because I'm using my little teeny tiny ones. I'm sure I've got some big ones somewhere. Oh, I have. Hang on a minute. Okay, you don't have to have these scissors. You've got your kitchen scissors. Cheapy ones from Ikea, a brill. If you fold your paper over, all right, then you haven't got to do as much cutting. So I just want a straight line. See how good... Oh, I've just moved it. <laughs> so maybe it won't be so straight. <laughs> Never mind. Right. That's straight-ish. So what I was thinking, on that same line where we've just sort of masked off, we could just do that. 
and then that. I'm into the diagonals at the moment, and I is that oh no, that's a straight line, isn't it? <laughs> okay, is that about roughly the same sort of distance? Give or take. So I'm gonna go in with my sea foam. Do you know what you can use as well? If you haven't got washi tape, you can always use, um, oh, what's it called? The pour tape that you can get from the chemist. It's incredibly inexpensive or cheap, as I like to say. And it does the job. Perfect. Right, let's just have a little look at that. Lovely. So now I'm going to go like that. But instead of lining it up there, I'm gonna I'm gonna line it up and then just come down a little bit. Yeah. So basically, I'm now making my own stencil. So let me just move these out of the way. But yeah, if you've got some just cheap tape, just just stick it down with that because it is so much easier. You can see me sort of fiddling here with my fingers. But it's just a great way to just do some cards and you're not spending a fortune. Let's have a look. Lovely. Right, so again, line that up and then just go up a little. How much did I go up? I'm never going to get it exactly right, am I? Up a bit. So if you can't get it exactly right, just do it like different sizes on purpose. So let's do that now. Let's just come in with a thinner stripe. Okay. So I'm saying this is for beginners, like beginner card makers. But you know what? I think there's a lot of you guys out there that would appreciate this. And, and maybe, I'm not saying you're all going to learn from this. You lot teach me quite a few things, some of the things you tell me. Um, but yeah, there, there's just some great little hacks. So we've got, oh, lovely. So again, let's just line that up and then come up a bit. And then let's do a thicker one. Roughly. Okay, I'm going to go, oh, oh, I got in with the wrong one. <laughs> Honestly, I should just be sitting here with all my lids off and just sitting here doing this. Okay. Let's get me Bay Breeze on there. So can you see what we're doing, yeah? So we're just going to go in again, come up. And then I think I need this colour again. I'm going to do a thin line again. And then I'll probably stop there because you're getting the gist. I don't need to teach you to suck eggs. Once you've seen it, it works. So just get that on there. We could, we could again go in. See, look at that. Even that just looks lovely. Now, I've gone very close in colours there, haven't I? I haven't gone very heavy on that. So I'm just going to... Go back in just to differentiate. Do you like that word? Makes me sound intelligent, doesn't it? I'm going to differentiate between the colours. So let's just pick up more and go heavier on that. Because these will all lighten down anyway. These Catherine Paula inks, and a lot of inks actually, when you put them on, you think, ooh, that's a bit dark. But actually, once they start drying, they lighten down. And they are yum. So again, this one was that colour as well. But I could leave it and make it look like I've got four colours. Actually, that one's a lot darker. So it looks like I've got five colours going on now. I'm going to leave it. And I actually haven't. So what I was going to say is you could, you could actually sort of mask this bit off. And this bit. And you could stencil through there yeah we could put those let's just add a little bit of interest and put those 
Du, du, du. I think I'm, oh no, I'm not straight at all. <laughs> Is that about straight? Roughly, give or take. So let's pick up some Skylight, because that's darker. Or actually, look, let's just go over with the sea. So this is sea foam under there, and I'm gonna go back in. So I'm putting sea foam on top of sea foam. Just go a little bit heavier. I love Catherine Paula inks. Absolutely love them. But there's so many inks out there. And I look at them all and I'm like, oh, I really like them. The, um, oh, I've forgotten their name. Oh, I've just bought a load of the cardstock. Oh, I'll think of it in a minute. Um, oh, look at that. Oh, look. Let's get that off there. Yeah, so we've just added a little bit of interest there. It's just, it's great. So let me just think if that would work if i put that in the middle okay let's go in bay breeze again du, du, du. also another thing to say is you could actually you can cut your stamps or you can stamp it onto another piece of cardstock cut it off and then have happy birthday to you so you can you can separate them up so don't be afraid to do that i'm just going to bring this Closer. I hope my greasy hair isn't going to get in the way. I'm having it done tomorrow. I don't know. I, I can't. I'm not leaning over properly, so I can't see whether I've done that right. I don't think I have. But no, look, it's a bit wonky. <laughs> I won't tell if you don't tell. But so, do you know what I mean? So then all you've got to do is put them on your card bases like so bit of glue stick them down so what have i got right okay so we've just used the same three inks the same one stamp and the same stencil and just a bit of paper but look at that and and that great well <laughs> i say so myself sorry <laughs> people that are new here are probably thinking seriously who does this woman think she is <laughs> i don't mean it like that I just think, you know, it's great. So that's how you can get into card making without spending a fortune. Um, yeah, just simple as. So thank you very much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoy it. Um, and I hope you subscribe and I hope you like and I hope you comment. Um, and I hope to see you again soon. So thanks a lot, guys. Bye.